hey, hey, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name, 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 mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, is your name. Jehovah is your name. Hey, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the high that I used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the owner of my soul. The put of bonnet that never consume. What shall I render to you, O Lord? How will bow then and worship your name? You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are my Lord. You are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that opens my door. You are the owner of my soul. The put of bonnet that never consume. What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will bow there and worship your name. You are the Lord. How bow then? How will bow there and worship your name? You are the Lord. How bow then? How will bow then? I worship your name. You are the Lord. Black so be the name. Black so be the name. We love you. Black so be the name. Oh Lord, hallelujah, black soul be the name of thee, black soul be the name you have done too much, black soul be the name, oh Lord, hallelujah, honor to your name, glory to you Lord, worship to your name, my King, hallelujah, honor to to you, Lord, ha ha, worship to your name, ha ye, thanks to your name, oh Lord. The Lord do it, what no man can do, have you? Oh, excellent, I am man. Jehovah do it, what no man can do. Oh, excellent is your name. The Lord that do it, what no man can do, ha. Oh, excellent is your name. The Lord that go ahead where no man can go. Oh, excellent is your name. The Lord that he let her no man be. How excellent is your name. The Lord that he let what no man can he. How excellent is your name. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. My God, my God. How excellent is your name. In all the heat. How excellent is your name. Great God, oh, Lord. Oh Lord, my God, my God, how excellent is your name in all the air. How excellent are your word, oh Lord, oh Lord, my God, how great is yes, your name in all the air. Oh, excellent is your name, Jehovah, you are the most high, hey, yeah. you are the most high, God, Jehovah, you are the most high, yeah, yeah. you are the most high, God, Jehovah, you are the most high, most high, you are the most high, God, Jehovah, reign, 
hey hey Jehovah ha 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 Jehovah re hey hey Jehovah ha 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 Jehovah you are the most high yeah you are the most high God Jehovah you are the most high most high you are the most high God va you are the most high my God you are the most high God Jehovah you are the most high yes Lord you are the most high God Jehovah you are the most high yes Lord you are the most high God Rabaku Sandaya Kalababa Zed indeed is the most high is the most high has delivered he has rescued he has protected he has provided even more than we yes we have asked of him even more than we expected of him has it not happened to you that yes you expected something from God but rather he brought it in a deeper way yes in a greater way more than your expectation that is what I'm trying to say yes to you that yes will serve God that, that is forever faithful that that is what is the most I is the most I supersedes all words are not enough to qualify who he is and so yes a blessed people of God join me to worship this great God it's just excellence it's excellence in his ways it's marvelous in his way no wonder the Bible says yes his ways are not our ways just as the heavens is higher than the head so his ways are higher than ours is better than ours that is what is God no man can compete with him for that reason, I want you to celebrate, join me, celebrate the name of Jesus. Let's exalt our master. Let's exalt our master. Amen. Lord deserve a praise. Oh, master. We are grateful, Lord, for all you have done. We are grateful, Lord, for you, all you have done. Doing and yet to do. What bless your name online. Master. We are grateful. Oh, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Baba Daddy, for all you have done for us in We are grateful, oh Lord, we are grateful, oh, we are grateful. Great King, we are grateful, oh, we are grateful, Baba, for all you have done for us in we are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, my joy for all you have done for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are grateful, oh Lord. Oh, but so show. Tell you call it shit, oh who call it oh but on show, tell you call it shit. Oru koreti to, hey to show, tell me kole she. Oru koreti to, oba to show, tell me kole she. Oru koreti to, holuwa holuwa goba holuwa wa. Oru koreti to, henu boba ye. Oru koreti to, holuwa holuwa ya ba kusundo. Yes, from everlasting to everlasting, we will praise you, Lord. We will praise you, Lord. We will praise you, Lord. That is our confession, our declaration. Oh, send Kadababa Zenda, the Lord that is mighty in battle, the Lord that is sweet to the Lord that has not left all years or desire, left also the desire of our enemies. We are here, Lord God, to show gratitude for what else can we render to you? There is no except Lord God, this praise and worship. What has of you this day, Lord God, the little we are able to offer may it be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. We are asking, Lord God, by your mercy, by your mercy, not that we deserve it, God, but as a result of your mercy, mercy, mercy. Lord, we are asking, do a great work in our midst today again. Do a great work, Lord God, in this Lord God, in our midst today. As you use me to reach your people, thank your testimony at the end of today's gathering. In the name of Jesus, at the end of today's message, bless be your holy name. In Jesus' name, God bless you, for of God. God bless you once again, once again. I remember.
Ademe, your host, Reverend Dorothy Abeyuwa Awodeyi, ministry on the way from Milan, Italy. God bless you. God bless you. We here in Italy will send your greetings. You guys watching me all over the world. God bless you. Oh, it's a privilege. It's an honor. Thank you for taking out your so much busy tight schedule to have time for this broadcast. I, I, I greet God. Uh, yes, I greet you and I celebrate God on behalf of your life. I, yes, I appreciate you from, my, from the depth of my heart, from the innermost of my being. God, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. And yes, to so every one of you that worship with us anytime we're online like this, that always connect to the broadcast, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate. Oh, yes, was a, a, a great encouragement. Uh, it has been to me and yes, to my entire team that we work together. God bless you once again in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. May your heart desire of amen more than you think. You can think or ask or ever imagine. No, that is a scripture that we need to just come to my spirit. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yes, since I entered into this broadcast, why I was just worshiping God, it began to the, uh, know that, that there's uh, 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 the voice I'm hearing, that, that, that is that uh, uh, feeling I'm feeling that God is about to do glorious things, glorious things, God, glorious things. And it continue to ring in my innermost prayer and say, yes, it's about to do greater things, greater things, greater things. If you watch very uh, well from the onset, if you started with me, I spoke in that direction. That has not ever happened to you. You expected God to do something, but rather it did more than your expectation. And so God said, so I should test somebody the oh not over some some of the people is people this uh, is people this because I see more than one person two three four five I cannot actually count the number I see yes spiritually that God want to reach out to yes these are the people that be expecting from God you will be expecting the move of God you will be expecting his divine intervention you will be expecting it turn things around God selling me is about to visit is about to have something about the visitation of God many a times he does not announce and even when he announces at times does not give a specific data and so i want you to begin to expect from that and so remember the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off i decree i declare to you that season your expectation will not be cut off in the name of jesus why your expectation will not be cut off in the name of jesus why i say by the authority of heavens yes your expectation will not be cut off this season in jesus name i pray amen hey amen i say with total confidence because i know what i've had i know what i've had oh Oh, to the word of God, let your faith be intact. You know, at such a time when God releases his word, he's about to do something new, the devil will set out his plan to attack, to worry your faith, to discourage you. Please don't give in. Know that God is about to do something, something new. And when God is set to do something, nothing can hinder him. Yes, any power, any force I want to steal in the way, oh, yes, it comes like a moving train. And yes, it, it destroys out of the way. Oh, Santa Yekada, I pray this season nothing will hold back your miracle nothing will hold back your blessing i see you on high i see you on top in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth. and nevertheless i will not be that you know a fake prophet i will just talk, declare to you and say go and relax and just wait no 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 you must have a part to play you must have a part to and thank god today that is the direction we are going you know we have been talking about having the deeper hunger for god let's pray our father will give you praise free dollars free that i give you home I lift up your name on her. I ask for your utterance. Your God, thank for your utterance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So back to what I was saying, people of God, you know, that is the direction we are moving in today. You no, know, we have been talking about having a deeper hunger for God. And we have been able to see what it means to have a deeper hunger for God. And we have been working years recently on how do we now have this deeper hunger for God. And we'll be taking it step by step by the help of the Holy Spirit. We saw, yes, you must spend quality time with the Word, the Word of God. And yes, today you will, you will not really know who He is. And from there we were able to see, watch the kind of friends you keep it's very very important it's very very important yes and on and all god enable us and we have been able to skate through yes we have been able to skate through and we also look at thanksgiving and praises thanksgiving and praises when you come to his presence what is expected of you and today we're going to be looking at from that angle and says uh, spend quality time in prayers with him spend quality times in prayer quality time in prayer in prayer so back to what i was saying is that if you must expect the move of God, this is in your last. God has used me to tell you, you must do what is needful. Know what's with your, what, what you want. 
It is a need. It is a need. It is expected of you. And what is that? Is that spend time, quality time in prayers with him. Spend quality time in prayers with him. First Kings chapter 17, there was a great need in Israel. And what was that? The rain needed to fall. The rain needed to fall for three and a half years. There have been no rain. There have been no rain. And yes, God told Elijah, prophet Elijah, go and tell King Ahab. I'm about to visit. And yes, I want to cause rain to fall. But did Elijah just hold, hold dead his hands and go and relax? Then begin to die or return to the house of the Zara fighter uh, widow that was taking care of him. No, he never did that. He knew that for every divine of a, a commandment, for every divine blessing you are expecting, there is a part that is expected of you to play. And he's so equal on the saying that, that he needed to spend time in the presence of God. And the Bible says that God, he went down to pray. He went down to pray. Let's go to that place in case we are not so conversant with that place. First Kings chapter 17. He went down to pray. He went down to pray. So you want to spend a great move of God. You must be able to spend time in his presence. Spend time in his presence to the you know uh, in the place of prayers. In the place of prayer. Ragababa send that old. Sorry, chapter 18. First King chapter 18. Okay, let's see verse 41. He said, And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. He cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. And you see what Elijah, he, yes, he went to take, take him here and said, go and eat and drink. God has asked me once to say rain. You know, there are people in our lives that God will use us to intercede on their, on their behalf. You see, miracles are things that will happen to you and I. We see blessings of God just come to us and we know we didn't really labor for it, but to, will that make you understand? Though you didn't labor to get that there are people that labored on your behalf. At times you don't even know. There are people God placed in the place of prayers to intercede. Yes, to, 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 to avail before him, before that blessing could come. I do not see a nation but blessed. There are people that God has positioned that pray for nations. That they just have that burden. Yes, that is what they have been called to do. There are people that have been saying, like in every church, is, there are intercessors that have been saying to pray for the needs of that church, on the needs of members of that ministry. And you see that is why people come into the church, they are blessed. They think it just happened. Nothing is, uh, happens like that. Nothing lifts the heaven except something lifts the head. At times, it might be prayer that needs to lift the head before something comes from heaven. That is how it has ever worked, and that is how it works still now. So, in case you are wondering and say, why is my blessing not coming? Time is needed to spend in the presence of God. Look at before rain could fall, somebody was told and said, Go and eat and drink. Whereas there's another person you not know, doing the major work, the underground work, the underground. Work. That is why you know when you receive your blessing, no, don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. There are people that pay the price, that paid the way for you. And so that is why when we were we, we, we are giving glory, we should give the glory to God. Give glory to God and thank God on behalf of men. But these are people that you might know. These are people you might not even know. But I feel that when you come into me and say, God, thank you for everything. For every man or woman that have used to stand in the car for me, for me to have this. Lord, I thank you on their behalf. Yes, encourage them the more. And also I want to say here yeah, also, when you know such people, go to them and appreciate them. Appreciation is a powerful tool. God needs appreciation. So also with women. Appreciate them, celebrate them, not only with the words of mouth, also, yes, with the token. With the token, with something on your hands. Yes, the words of mouth is okay, but with the token, it goes to speak a lot. It goes to speak a lot. So, so many of us are under pastor, under, under a church. You have been blessed in that church. I ask you, what have you done to be of benefit to that ministry or to the man of God there? Or you think it's only a prayer that be sustaining you? That is a total lie. There are some blessings that the pastor needed to agree with you, whether in your presence or yet in his closet. There are some blessings God released upon you and your household just because of the pastor. The, 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 the set man, he placed over his commission, not because of you, not because of the prayer you pray. First Samuel chapter 1, he could give a, conf a confirmation concerning the prayer of Anna. You want to tell me that is the only day Anna has been praying? He has, of course, she has been praying because she goes to Chilo every year with the, with her husband. But that same day she has to pray and thank God for Ella that the priest has to put a seal to that prayer. 
And if you say no, I don't agree. Maybe you know, uh, even Ella was wayward then. You know that's uh, he, he, he has started backsliding. You could not even hear the voice of God on and on and on. Let's move to chapter two. Then the Bible record that one as though uh, uh, um, Anna has given someone to to, uh, to God, dedicated uh, someone to go all throughout the star, and it was here in the temple. But the Bible did record uh, record that in chapter two that every year Anna still follow the husband Ekana to uh, to Shiloh to worship. And because of that, uh, Eli saw them and he has to pray and he agreed with Ekana and uh, Anna again. I said, For this child, someone you have given to, you have lent to the Lord. The Lord will you know, bless you in return. And that the Bible said, In the course of that, Anna was again blessed with two uh, uh, male children and two females. So you see the process, how it goes. The Bible never recorded Anna had those children. It was when Ella agreed again in place of prayer for, with them. That is when the blessing comes. So you cannot underlook the, 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 the authority of a man or woman of God over your life. That's why some of us, a lot of us, we are struggling. Because when we have left the co coverage, you think you are not on your home. Who says so? Check it out in life, in history. Whether you are a Christian, you are an unbeliever, or whether you are a Muslim or a Christian or whatsoever, yes, faith you belong to. People that ever succeeded in life, that made a mark in life, check it. It was what as a result of connection to the spirit realm. The spirit controls the physical. Check it very well. Nobody does succeed by mistake. There was a connection to the spirit realm that paved the way for them. Whether yes is a is a, is a, 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 a juju man, those are worship idols, one way or the other. So stop taking your life for granted. We are talking about having no. I just talked about sources. Talking about having a deeper hunger for God. You want to develop a deeper hunger for God. Also, you must learn time to spend time in the presence of prayer. Please, this is not negotiable. This is not when if I feel like I don't feel like. It's something you must train yourself to do. Whether you know you, you easily get weak, it's a, prayer is it comes as a result of you know practice make perfect. Nobody was born with it. Who does that are the gift? They have to spend their time to groom themselves, to groom themselves, to groom yourself. A time comes you start struggling, but a time comes that what you come to the time you no longer struggle. You don't pray a day that like you have lost something. You are not yourself. You are not yourself. There is something, you just know that there is something wrong that needs to be fixed. But over the time, you have become accustomed to it. And you know that, you, over time, you know that struggle with the things of the spirit. Because you have become used to it. So if we can be used to daily food or daily we also can be used to, to prayers. It's part of, it's supposed to be part of our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. So back to what I was saying. First Kings chapter 18, verse uh, I will stop at verse uh, 42. Okay. So, so Ahab went up to eat. Okay, I think I read verse 42. Let's see the 43. And said to his servant, Go up now. Look towards the sea. And he went up and looked and dear. And said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there has risen a little cl cloud out of the sea like a mass. And, and he said, Go up. Say unto Ahab, Prepare that chariot and get it down. That the rain stopped thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and winds, and there was a great rain, and he abroad and went to Jezreel. What is happening here is amazing. This is a land that there have been no sight drop of rain for three and a half years. There was serious famine. The whole place was in chaos. But a needed woman. Oh, now the Bible said, I am looking for a man that was standing the gap. I am just looking for a man that will stand in the gap. What are you doing concerning the situation of that family, the situation of that church, that ministry, the situation of your own personal life? You see, we can start somewhere. Like maybe, you know, I just feel like praying casually. But because when God begins to see your concern, you know, it comes with a burden and it just comes to your mind. Something you see a need. And the, the spirit leads you and say, pray over this thing and you obey. You see, after a while, you begin to give he, he did to obedience, you know, he to him, obey him, obey him. With time, you see that you, you, you become a, a, a veto in that area. You become an icon in that area. Because why everyone cannot trust in you? They know that when the, the, the prayer is needed to sort out issues, you are always available. So I will ask you how available you are. 
to God and place around. So most of all, it's when we are in need, we ourselves, we can less about others. That is when we go before the Father and that becomes a selfish prayer most of the times. You know how to become a victorious Christian, one that wins, a one that is always blessed, one that receives blessing that you never prayed for. It's learn to intercede for others. Many at times forget yourself. Bring people's burden before the throne. Bring the church burden before the throne. Bring believers' burden before. Are you living in a nation, a nation whereby the gospel is not being welcomed? Begin to pray concerning the need of that of the gospel. Lord, let yes, the gospel of the Lord Jesus prevail in this land. Let him prevail in this land. With time, there are things you never even ask for because the Bible says, Yes, your heavenly father knows that you are in, you have need of it. The book of Matthew chapter 6. You see that God himself begin to pay for it for you. That is why most of the times our needs are not met. I will ask you a question. How many things have you asked from God? Spend time in praying, a fasting, and it is not forthcoming. Why don't you put yourself aside? Leave yourself for, for, for at least for a while. I say, God, let me go after the things of the kingdom. This scripture cannot be broken. Matthew chapter 6 is 33. It says, Seek it for the kingdom of God and righteousness, every word that it shall be had it. And what is the kingdom? Yeah, how do we seek it? One of the ways were the place of prayers. And before you know, you begin to have a deeper relationship for God, a deeper hunger for Him. It just becomes part of you. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Bible said that Elijah has to pray. He traveled. It was not an ordinary prayer. And with time, what happened? The rain that had been lacking for three and a half years, all of a sudden manifested, and it was great. It was glorious. But just look at it. if Elijah has not prayed, meaning there would be serious disaster, chaos, worse than it was. You see, when things happen at times, I think we tend to blame the devil or maybe, you know, blame people around. And the thought might actually be ours. And why do I say it might actually be ours? Because God can tell on you to do something about it. Perhaps in the place of prayers. But you took it for granted, you overlooked and the thing really happened. And you are not saying maybe it's a nation, it's a government, it's a son, it's a daughter, it's a nurses. When God pushed you to pray, when that brother of yours will be hospitalized, stand in the place of prayer, you were so busy with your own activities, personal schedule, that at the end of the day, you never prayed. Or even when you pray, you never prayed the way you were expected. And that brother really gave up the ghost, he died. And you are not saying what, perhaps maybe he was not treated well by the daughter or the nurses. God knew quite all right that he is not going to be receiving sufficient treatment from the daughter or the nurses. That was why he placed you there. Did the Bible call us washmen? Or you are a woman, a, a, wash, a, 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 a washwoman? That is our duty. That you should pray, you should stand in the gap to stop the works of the devil. And that's why stopping the words of them to cut into being manifestation, the things that are supposed to be here on earth. Just as Elijah called into manifestation the rain. So please, this room, as I'm speaking, a, a deep, a, 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 having a deeper hunger for God, you know, in the place of prayer, it's going to cost you something. I must tell you that it's going to cost you something. There are times you want to just bless, you want, you want, you want to have pleasure, but the Spirit will not allow you. The spirit will not allow you. There are times you want to sleep throughout the night. But the spirit will not allow you. Because there is a case that needs to be settled. At times, my never at times, my even big your own case. It has happened to me. Again and again. But there's a case I just remember now. I remember years ago. Years ago. And then I was not married yet. Yet. And um, what actually happened then, I was a member of our prayer band in a uh, church then I used to worship in Africa and um, that's uh, of course in our church then it was a very prayerful church to cover the glory you know virtually every day of the week we have all night prayers especially with the set of the prayer band I think uh, to be precise I think it's three or four times a week we don't have prayers every night and when I say uh, prayers is serious prayer I mean what I'm saying this is a prayer that will start you know 12 on the dot will kick up and will take us throughout the night maybe the earliest the earliest will close is three or four or four a.m. in the morning a time can even elapse to five and all throughout this ever bear witness I'm not lying all throughout this you do not see that you are, you are on your feet praying or you are on your knees praying or even when you sit down you are praying 
Not that you do not sit down because they are not asked you to sit down, but all the all because of the body, you know, they travel. I don't know if you understand if you have ever been in this room because of the travel. The only one you want to sit down with, but the spirit will not allow you. And again, when you are tired, when you look at other people praying, you are motivated. Again, that is another point I bring to you. Please uh, uh, try to treasure the gathering of the brethren. You know, the Bible says, Iron sharpens iron. We are there to strengthen one another. Have you not gone to a prayer meeting? You are tired, you are weak. But when you see people around you, pick up courage again. You see, iron sharpening iron there. So, back to what I was saying is that. So this particular day I went for prayers all throughout the day. I've been I've been busy because I was a student and then I was in school. I was busy. So in the night I went for prayers, thing a normal prayer we did it. And when I got home, early hours of that morning, or uh, 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 let's say we got home around six or seven. Uh no, that's not seven years. That's I got home around five or six. I was very tired because five years, just as you have had me, I prayed throughout, virtually throughout the night, and I was very weak. And that morning I was still to go out. And uh, so I just okay, let me rest my head at least for an hour or two. But do you know, in the course of that, just sleep to uh, sleep, I, I decided to have, I had a revelation. And what was that revelation is that uh, they came to tell me that my mom was dead. I cried, I cried seriously from that, and I woke up. And each time I had a revelation like that, you know, any dream I have, or whatever, and I wake up, hey, it's God that will help that that thing will not come to pass. So, then because I was so tired, though I prayed, because I knew that, you know, what, uh, what it means. So, I was so tired. So, I have to just say, in Jesus' name, I bind you. Every I come against every works of the devil, it will not come to pass. My mom will not die. And because I was so tired, sleep took me again. I slept up. The same revelation came in another way. They came and told me my sister was dead. Ah, I cried. I wept. I woke up again. And because I was so I sat when I can and I sat down, can actually remember I, I slept at those stuff again. The same revelation came again the whole time. It was the whole time I have to say, ah, this thing is silly somehow. I have to stand up, start moving, walking, pacing around the room, rejecting, you know, worrying against it will not come to pass. I refuse at the store. And finally, it was time to quickly take my bath, rush out of the house. I took my bath, and my mom was to take me out with my elder sister, and we dashed into the car. My mom uh, was driving the car. You know, lo and behold, in the course of we being on the way, it's a school around that area. It's no child from a primary school, just dashed out from nowhere. My mom's car picked up that child, you know, picked him from the floor, hit his head on top of the, from the bonnet, then landed on the windscreen, then passed this child back on the floor. And this what I'm saying, this is a cotard floor, a tight floor, very hard and strong. And the next we could see, okay, my mom was already shaking on the steering. The no, because I was sitting at the back, my sister and my mom were sitting on the uh, at the front. The next we could, I could see on the whiskey where it's blood gushed all over the whiskey. And I have to say, mom, mom, you know, she stopped the car and she was shivering on top of her steering. So my sister was shouting, ask me where the strength came from. I can, I think today I don't know. But one thing I know that was because I prayed, I was empowered that moment. And what happened is that quickly I shouted on my mom. I said, please, let's, you know, come out of the car. Let's see what we can do to this. He, she was still shivering. I rushed out of the back seat. I carried the, the child on my hands. See, the child, I started bringing out the white eyes and, you know, stretching but i could remember that i uh, uh, that he uh, uh, said that when somebody is about giving up the ghost and stretching like that try to gather the person together again that at least you can save to some essence and with that that thought came to me immediately i was br bringing the boy pushing him to back to and i was praying praying blasting in tongues praying 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 my mom and my sister you know they were just you know, confused and they didn't know that i started my mom get back on the st steering let's take this child to the hospital he's still breathing you know it was just gasping for breath i said still breathing mom, i said are you sure this boy is there. i said no it's not there let's take him to the nearest hospital that's how we dash into the car then i was holding the child at the back seat Praying all, life, all my efforts, all my strength in, in prophesying and told that child, you will not die, you will live. I rebuilt the spirit of death. I went on and on like that. And we rushed to the hospital. And the nurses, they took the child from us. And that is how they treated that child. To God, the glory, the child survived. No, oh, I took time to narrate this story. What happened in this incident was because of my time. I spent in prayer initially before that thing happened. 
So in case you are the type that prays and you feel you are wasting your time, perhaps you are not seeing the manifestation, I want to tell you, you have been tricked by the devil. For the fact you have not seen, you do not have many things we have cancelled that would have been made manifest physically in the place of prayers. If we have not prayed, you would have seen that what it has manifests himself. And so with that, we do not see things happening. You pray and it comes to manifestation. And you pray the works of the devil is being stopped. A deeper on, a, you know, a, you want to spend more time with God. You know, in life, anything you do, you get results. Especially profit, first thing, you know, you want to do more of it. You just hunger for it because we are built for success. That shows you are successful in that area. The same thing that you want, as you spend time in prayers and you're seeing sources, you're seeing victory, you're stopping the works of the devil, that hunger to spend more time in prayers begin to, you know, grow in you, become stronger. It becomes stronger in you and that is what I've come to release upon somebody this afternoon. I said, we see the strength to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer be wicked. You will no longer be discouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. The strength of the God I serve, oh, Basaya Baba Zena, that has kept me over the years in the place of prayers. I withdraw you from the place of weakness in prayers. The spirit is not for sleeping in the place of prayer. I conquer your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I come to pray life, life upon you. Be quicken, be quicken from weakness. Resist trying to intercede. Resist trying to pray. Resist trying to bring transformation to the nation, to your family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I talk from you the comment of weakness, of laziness, of slothfulness in the place of prayers. I declare a new you from now a soul that it is so and it is so that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it is one with you in Jesus' name. And God is asking me to tell somebody that's listening to me that it properly. It properly. I see somebody struggling in the place of prayer. And the reason is that almost throughout the day you do not feed well. And in the night you not eat well. And that night, because we are so heavy to pray, it has become a struggle. It has become a struggle. I see somebody struggling in the place of prayer. It has become a God is saying that what hits well, you know, reg uh, uh, regulates your, 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 your feeding again in a proper manner. And I see you overcoming in Jesus' name. As somebody on the hospital bed, God is saying, yes, let there be an intercessor set up. And that, that says or set up cry on, unto God on behalf of that soul. And yes, the, the, the ends of the weekend, you that I'm talking to, you have a sick person, and you know you could tell that the, what is wrong with the person is not ordinary, it is not physical, it is spiritual. You know, uh, and God is saying, What well, set up intercession? It's not something I love about interceding that it goes to work both physically and spiritually. When you pray, you, it goes to you, you, you have authority over the physical. When the, the problem, the challenge is physically, you have a, you take authority over. Even when it's spiritual, you take authority over it. So even mentally, even socially, yes, it goes to work every way. And so you see that well, it makes you to be balanced at the end of the day. This one with you people of God, thank you for being online. I want to say uh, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing this video. This broadcast, let's help the people of God. Let there be revival in the land. If we can pray, our nations can be healed. Then the Bible says so. That if my people that are called by my name should humble themselves. Yes, some of them are wicked ways. And seek my face. He says, I will heal their land and pray. I will heal their land. You see, that what it has to do with prayers. It got to do with prayers on and on again. And that, you know, without ending, without ending, on and on again. Why things are happening, not favorable to us, because we have left the place of prayers. Try what I'm saying. Try what I'm saying. You see that way, total you turn. The devil knows the powers and prayers. That is why he fights to hinder you and her. He calls us to be distracted not to pray. Not to pray, because he knows that if you can pray, he's in trouble. So he will fight all he can to stop you from praying. So God help us in Jesus' name. So please, as I said, share this video. Let's encourage one. Let's help one another. Thank you for your comments in the comment section. And please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for that being a lot of encouragement to us. Amen. Uh, we covet your prayers. We too, we need prayers. We that come every day to give you the word of God. We need prayers to keep the fire burning. So please pray for us also. Let's pray. Our Father, we give you praise. Thank you for the wonderful time. Spend your presence. Lord God, Jehovah, 
I ask God Jehovah, may your people not remember the same time others throw to pray in Jesus' name. And in case you will be hearing me, you have not received Jesus as Lord and a personal savior. I love doing this because uh, the, 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 uh, don't know when the master will come, the, pro, uh, the trumpet can sound any moment from her. And so leading to uh, uh, people to God every time, to Jesus every time, it's a wonderful thing to do by we believers. And so in case you have not received Jesus as Lord and personal, so please repeat after me this prayer, this inner prayers. And for you to enjoy all I've been saying, have this trying to pray, become a Christian, become a believer. That is when you have got the strength, the Holy Spirit will take charge over you. And so please repeat after me. Say, my father, my father, Lord Jesus, I have some mercies for my sin. I confess I am a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Dear Lord, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Give me the strength and the grace to live for you all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Big congratulations. I congratulate you. The angels are rejoicing now right there in heaven. Why? Because you will just be added to the family of God. Congratulations. I want to encourage you to join a Bible living church. One that believe in the Holy Bible. You can see very well, Holy Bible. And yes, I practice it. Join it and you have to come a family so that you can grow spiritually. And also watch our broadcast. Thank you all very much. And I want to say a big thank you to Pastor uh, Paul Sunday and the wonderful dear wife. Thank you for this opportunity. See, I come across your way again tomorrow. Remember, bless and remember to share this broadcast. Share, 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 share. God bless you. Bye for now. Amen.